out on the hill old oak still stands, stack-headed, fire-struck, background, stubbornly hot in its ground. Three hundred years to grow, three hundred more to thrive, three hundred years to die, nine hundred years alive. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on today's video. The beautiful words I just spoke aloud are from The Lost Spells by Robert McFarlane, which is so far one of my favorite reads this season. This book is filled with so much love to the surrounding world, at times it feels like it speaks directly to your soul. At this time of the year I like reading books that tell stories of nature and carry a lot of meaning between the lines. But if I don't have a good book at hand, I may just sit in my garden, in complete silence, letting the nature speak for itself. While spring let us watch the miracle of the new life breaking through the soil, so fresh and charming and young, autumn, on the other hand, gives us glimpses of nature's mature and fading beauty. The flowers and trees are slowly drifting to sleep, while the last crops of the year are leaning heavily toward the ground. My garden has done a pretty good job dressing up for the new season, with spider webs hanging on every ivy vine and hydrangeas wearing their dry flower crowns. Only the empty shelves that were covering pots with greens and herbs through the summer months were looking sad and hollow, so I decorated them with some of the season's main symbols. September days are often capricious and can change in the blink of an eye. The sun hides behind the clouds and the rain falls heavily washing the garden.
It's a perfect time to enjoy the comfort and safety of my home, light up candles, warm up my hands with a cup of spicy tea, and spend time on a favorite hobby or a good read. Thank you for spending this time with me. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. And if you like my art and want to support me, I will leave a link to my shop in the description. I'm sending you my love and hope to see you soon again. Goodbye.